All right, so for this video, we're going to review a little bit about exponents before you start doing these IXLs. Today, you're going to be working on D1, D2, D5, and D6. So we're going to do a little bit of review before you, I set you free. So with D1, you are writing the expressions using the exponents. So you are going to write what this expression is when you're using an exponent. So we have 2 times 2. Well, we're going to know a couple things. First, we got to think what is our base? What is our number that's being multiplied? 2, right? How many 2s are there that are being multiplied? That's where our exponent comes in. Well, there are two twos. So two times two is equivalent to two to the second power. That's a relatively easy one. Let's look at this one. You have three times three times three times three. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so looking at three times three times three times three. First, what is our base? Remember, our base is the number being multiplied. Okay, well, three is being multiplied. How many times is three being multiplied? One, two, three, four. So four. This little button right here just helps you place your numbers either in the base or in the exponent uh, format. So that is how we are going to be writing expressions using exponents. We're going to go into D2 now. D2, evaluate exponents. So this is a little different than before. When we're evaluating exponents, when we evaluate anything in general is where we answer our question. So evaluate means to answer our question. So we have 7 to the second power. This is not 7 times 2. Oop, I froze a little bit. All right. So 7 to the second power is not 7 times 2 because that's 14. That's not what we want. 7 to the second power is saying that, okay, your base is 7, so that's what we're multiplying, and your exponent is telling us how many times we are multiplying that number. We're multiplying 7 times itself twice. Okay, well, this is in expanded form. Now we got to find our answer. 7 times 7 is 49. 4 to the second power. 4 to the second power is not saying 4 times 2. It's not what we're asking. So our base is 4. How many times are we multiplying out our base? Twice. So it's going to be 4 times 4. So there's two 4s. Our answer is going to be 16. Okay? So D2 is where you're evaluating or finding out the answer. 3 to the third power oops, is not saying three times three. It's not what we're doing. It's saying three times three times three. There's three threes that are being multiplied. So three times three is nine times three is 27. Okay. Let's go on to D5. D5 and D6 are the exact same types of skills, only this time we're working with decimals and with fractions. So D5, evaluate. Write your answer in decimal or whole number. So depending on what your answer is, is what you're going to write your answer as. It's okay to get decimals. So we have 0 0.02 to the second power, or 2 hundredths squared. So we're going to have 0 0.02 times itself twice. Our exponent is 2, so we're going to times it twice. It's okay to use a calculator at this point. So we have 0 0.02 times 0 0.02. Our answer is 0 0.0004. So you're going to type it in as exactly as the calculator says it. 0 0.03 to the second power. So 0 0.03 times 0 0.03 and you end up with 0 0.0009. Last one we're going to do is D6 which is fractions and remember there's no reason to be afraid of fractions 
because you know how to multiply them. When you know how to multiply fractions, you go straight across, makes it very easy. So we have 3 fourths to the third power. So 3 fourths times itself three times. So 3 fourths times 3 fourths times 3 fourths. When you're multiplying fractions, you go straight across. So our, our top is 3 times 3 times 3. So 27, and our bottom, our denominator is 4 times 4 times 4, and we get 64. In your directions, it doesn't say to change it into a mixed number. It doesn't say to change it into a decimal. It doesn't say to change it into simplest form. You're going to type it in exactly as it appears. Now, when you do this, you're going to have to do it this way because if you do it in a calculator you're going to get a decimal the directions do not want a decimal <clears throat> one half squared you're going to have one half times itself twice so you're going to have one times one is one two times two is four so for these you will have to show a little bit of work which is great because you all have notebooks if something like this is one fourth to the first power, that just means we literally are going to have one fourth. One time. <clears throat>